What's up YouTube? For tonight's video, we are a full focus band team. <laughs> this one was a pretty interesting team. Now, real quick, thanks to all the people that rocked up to my live stream yesterday. It was good fun. Hopefully, I'll be doing another one of them the, uh, next weekend. Now, obviously, with this team, all of the Pokemon uh, were given the item Focus Band. Now, Focus Band is a complete luck-based item, and it makes you live on one health, even if you don't have full health. It's kind of like it's similar to Focus Sash. Now, it has a 10% chance to activate, which isn't a really you know, huge um, you know, chance. Anyway, people, the question for today is, what interesting new Pokemon item would you like to bring to the game? Now, I really like Assault Vest myself, right? So I thought we could have an item called Assault Pants, which would boost your defense. If you got any new item ideas, leave them below in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you love these Team Team series, people, please leave a like on the video, and let's get into it. This is a battle um, against Ricky, so we got a Guzzlord lead. Now, hoping the Focus Band would kick in on my Shit Ninja, and it's going to go down that red health bar. Oh, man, I had so bad luck with Shin the whole time. All right, so Guzzlord's going to get a Beast Boost. Um, the only good thing about that is it is a rather slow Pokemon, so it is uh, able to get Revenge Killed fairly easy. So the Shin Ninja was a max attack, max speed set. I'll go over more of, of that in the uh, as the battle goes on. So bringing in Pikachu. Now, with Pikachu, right, normally you run Light Ball on Pikachu. So bringing a Focus Band as the item on it, it makes it insanely weak. It's not very, very strong at all. So I had to run Nasty Pot on the set. So I've got Nasty Pot, T-Bot, Grass Knot, and HP Ice. I've got, obviously, the item is Focus Band, and Static is the ability. So we've got Tight Scum coming in. Go for another Nasty Pot. The whole idea around the set was to, like, rely on that Focus Band. I know it's 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 a terrible strategy, but that was the idea of this team, and uh, try and sweep through there. Okay, so it's going to hit me with the Flame Charge, doing just over half my health. So I'm not really sure if that was max or min damage. Uh, going for Thunderbolt anyway, I want to get some damage on this thing. It's very, very bulky. Um, does three quarter, around three quarters damage to me. Now it's going to go for Crush Claw against my Pikachu. And Focus Band doesn't kick in again. Oh man, things are not looking good at the moment. Okay, so uh, a third of my team's already down. Swapping in Wigglytuff. Now this was my special Wigglytuff. We've got Hyper Voice, Dazzling Gleam, Fire Blast, and Blizzard with the uh, competitive ability. So if a Pokemon comes in with Intimidate, that's going to give you a boost in special attack, which is quite nice. Okay, so now going for the Hyper Voice, and that's just going to be enough to not take out the Nipe. No, unfortunately. So now it's going to go for Crush Claw against Wigglytuff, and Wigglytuff's a fairly bulky Pokemon. Now the EV spread I ran on this was Max Health and Max Special Attack. Work rather nicely. I like Wigglytuff, it's a really interesting Pokemon. So Type Scum's gonna go down, and I finally got rid of one Pokemon. So now we've got the Vikavolt coming in. I've got Fire Blast on my Wigglytuff. I thought this would be the best move to go for. So I'm gonna be able to outspeed that, and it lands, mate. Yes, this is gonna definitely bury the uh, Giga the Gigavolt, and it lives on like one health. T shirts available. And they're gonna go for a Scummy Guillotine, and thank goodness it misses. <laughs> oh man. I would have been, I would have been super, super salty if that actually hit. Like, imagine it living on one health and getting hit by a guillotine. I actually, I think that's happened to me before. All right, so the Totem Vikavolt's going to go down, and now we've got the Neon Ligo coming. So this is quite a scary Pokemon. I've got to get rid of this. There's not really much I can actually do. I actually went for the Blizzard against this thing, hoping for a free sex. It's going to use the Acid Spray, taking out my Wigglytuff, and uh, now it's going to get Beast Boost. I'm wondering, is it going to get it in uh, speed or special attack? It's going to get in speed. So that's not too bad. Um, it's like a lot better getting in speed than the special attack. So now, swapping in my Dugong. Now, um, Dugong was quite a fun Pokemon to use. So this is a physical Dugong. On this set, we've got uh, we've got the Aqua Jet, Aqua Tail, so double stab. Uh, we've got Drill Run for electric types. And we've also got Avalanche as well, which hits pretty dang hard. So going for the Aqua Tail, it just lives again. However, I do have the Aqua Jet to finish it off, which is nice. Um, it did manage to get a layer of Stealth Rocks up. Uh, but that's, you know, that's kind of fine because Focus Band isn't affected like that compared to something like Focus uh, Sash. Um, I, how many times, like, have you ever versed uh, a Pokemon Focus Band before, right? And has it activated like two or three times in a row? That's happened to me before. Anyway, so as I was going to come in and just, just nuke me, unfortunately, um, I was like, this would be amazing, right, if my Dugong was able to lift this one on the Focus Band. And unfortunately, that wasn't the case. And uh, with a normal gem, that's way too much for Dugong to live. And Azelf is going to go down too. So that's not too bad. We've still got two, two Pokemon left. So now we've got uh, the Guzzlord coming in. Now, the Guzzlord, if you remember, took some prior damage from earlier on. And I've still got two Pokemon raised. We've got Donphan, right? Donphan's a really cool Pokemon. I like that. So we've got a uh, physical Donphan. Now, I wanted to do, have a sturdy Pokemon with Focus Band as well. So I could go for that sturdy and Focus Band. So going for the Earthquake, just finishing off the Guzzlord before I could do any damage to me. And that is down. So I had Rock Polish on this set. Max Attack, Max Speed. 
um, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Endeavor. I want to make use of that Sturdy, and if the Sturdy got broken right, I could make use of Focus Band and go for the Endeavor. All right, so the big Raticate. Look how big that thing is. It's going to go for a Hyper Fang on Don Fan. Doesn't do too much. It actually flinches me, which is unfortunate. Quite like Hyper Fang. It's a it's an interesting move. Now uh, the Raticate's going to go for yet another Hyper Fang on my Don Fan. My base defense actually saving me here. So, go for the Rock Polish. What I wanted to do, right, I was like, if I can go for Rock Polish and outspeed it, and then go for Endeavor, that'd be amazing. Now the Raticate is going to go for the Sucker Punch. It's going to outspeed me, and Focus Band finally kicks in after the whole battle, and I'm able to actually get an Endeavor off here, and that's going to take the Eradicate all the way down to one health. Man, it looks so cool when it attacks. It does like that little barrel roll. All right, so going for the Disrespect Endeavor, hoping the Focus Band kicks in, and the Eradicate takes itself out with a Life Orb damage. Unfortunately, it doesn't kick in twice in a row. But Eradicate is going to go down to the Life Orb damage, and that is game, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this first battle. Let's get on to the second battle. Now, we've got a very, very special battle at the end, too. Um, so make sure you stick around for the entire video. Got some really good stuff. All right, so we have a Nine Tails lead, and uh, Shedinja is going to face, you know, it's just another another day for Shedinja. Right? I got, like, the worst matchups every time. In, uh, at about five or six battles, right, every matchup was terrible. So I don't really want to swap out a Nine Tails in case it uses Nasty Spot. I actually stayed in, so obviously they uh, predicted me swapping there. So I'm able to get a free home close up, which was nice. So that's going to give me a plus one attack. So the best thing I can really do here is go for the Shadow Sneak. On this set, I've got Home Claw, Shadow Sneak, Leech Life for that maximum HP recovery, and Metal Claw. So Shadow Sneak doesn't do it much to Nine Tails at all. Nine Tails is going to go for the Heat Wave. Please kick in, and oh man, Shijinja goes down again. Oh man, I, I was I just wasn't getting lucky with uh, Shedinja activating the focus band. Anyway, so yeah, Nine Tails takes a little bit of a health recovery, so I can swap in my Don Fan now. Now I know if it got like energy ball or something like that, or uh, anything like that, grass moves, I'm gonna be able to take it. So the uh, side shock's not gonna do much to me at all, and uh, I'm gonna be able to go for the rock polish here, boosting my speed. Now I've got the rock polish up. Now Nine Tails is easily gonna go down to an earthquake the next turn. It's, you know, it's, the defenses aren't that great. So we've got, uh, on this set, I had the you know, Earthquake and the Stone Edge as the main stab. So it worked pretty nice on Don Fan. Um, it, it, I just really ran Endeavor on there purely for the Focus Ban and Sturdy, right? So Nine Tails is down. That's good. Uh, that's uh, Pokemon damage. So now we've got the Oddish coming in. So Oddish... Um, Oddish was fairly bulky, right? So I went for the Stone Edge against this. Um, even with the Everlight, it's quite tanky, and it took that pretty well. And it's going to go for Strength Zap. Now, Strength Zap is an amazing move, right? And uh, what it does is it heals uh, the opponent, obviously the opponent using it, and it actually drops your attack stat. Very, very nice move, and works, you know, it works very nicely on the Oddish like, evolution line. Okay, so I'm um, definitely not going to win that matchup. It's going to be able to storm out easy. Going into Wormadam here. So this Wormadam was a special attack except Energy Ball, Signal Beam, uh, HP Ground, and Quiver Dance with the Anticipation as the ability, and of course, Focus Band as the item. So swapping into the obvious grass move there, um, now we've got the uh, Oddish swapping out. You guys, you've got to build additional pylons. And now we've got the uh, Marowak Alola coming in. So the best thing I do here is go for the Quiver Dance on the swap and uh, try and get a Hidden Power Ground off to take out the Marowak. Um, the good thing is my you know, the, the um, Nine Tails was already down, so I only had one Fire Pokemon to deal with. So go for the Hidden Power on the Marowak. I knew this probably wouldn't take it out, but it get fairly close. And it's going to take it out in one shot with a critical hit. I, I definitely think that one mattered. Uh, Marowak is fairly you know, tanky. So I, I don't think it would have lived that well, but uh, it definitely would have uh, lived enough to take me out. So now we've got the Dragonite coming in. I'm going to go for the Signal Beam. I really don't have actually much to hit Dragonite with. Um, I've got Signal Beam, Energy Ball, and Hidden Power Ground, so I don't have much. So Dragonite is going to go for the Toxic on my Wormadam. So I was like, hmm, okay, so it it definitely is going to be a bulky Dragonite. I did a little bit of damage to it, and you can see it's got the leftover recovery. So I'm thinking it's going to be like some sort of scummy trapping set. A, a Dragonite that I've used before, I, I'd say. So Wormadam cannot do anything at all. I could set up Quiver Dancers, but I'm just not going to do much damage. So I thought to swap into my Pikachu, because I've got Hidden Power Ice on this, right? So Dragonite is going to go for the Sky Drop. So um, it's kind of similar to the set that I used to run. Uh, I still do run, so we've got the Sky Drop, Toxic. Uh, Roost and Wrap. That was the set that I run. It was a max health, max special defense set. All right, so Pikachu does resist Sky Drop. It still does around half health to it. Static kicks in, which is really good. So I thought this could be a quite a good opportunity, right, to go for the Nasty Plot and try and go for the Hidden Power Ice to take out Dragonite. Unfortunately, the multi-scale is now um, recovered, so with the leftovers. Okay, so going for the uh, Nasty Plot on Pikachu, hoping uh, the Dragonite is going to get uh, paralyzed. However, it's going to use Wrap instead. So my, uh, my instincts were right. 
I could see this set a mile away. So I'm going to get wrapped by the Drag Knight. Obviously, the next Sky Drop is going to be enough to take me out. So I've got to go for Hidden Power Ice. At least do you know, around a half health to the Dragonite and break this multi-scale. Maybe swapping in Don Fan to go for the Stone Edge afterwards. Okay, so it doesn't really do too much. Multi-scale really dropping down the damage and uh, Dragonite's going to go for the Toxic. So I'm wrapped and I'm Toxic at the same time. However, I do, I'm going to be able to live the next one because Toxic only just started. And uh, the Dragonite is going to have some leftover recovery, but multi-scale is broken. That's the main the main thing, right? Multi-scale is such a good ability. Um, I definitely, um, it, it's, it's, there's quite a few abilities quite similar to it. They're all very, very good. So now Pikachu is on its last legs. Going for the Hidden Power Ice against the Dragonite. And uh, since there's no multi-scale, that's going to be enough to take it out, which is nice. Who needs a light bulb Pikachu, right? So your yeah, Dragonite is down. And uh, Pikachu is also going to go down this turn too due to the Toxic. But that's good. I, I really didn't have much outside of my Don, uh, like Don fan to go for the Stone Edge to actually take the Dragonite out. So now going into Wigglytuff. I mean, I did have Blizzard on Wigglytuff, but... You know, that shaky accuracy is a little bit of a worry too. So I can go for the Fire Blast on the Oddish. Now, I already know this is a fairly bulky Oddish uh, with the Everlight that I've seen before. So uh, Fire Blast does really nice damage. And now Oddish is going to go for the Energy Ball. Uh, Energy Ball actually does pretty dang good damage to me considering it's coming from an Oddish. So it's about a three-hit KO, um, a two-hit KO with a crit. So go for the Hidden... Uh, sorry, not the Hidden Power, the Hyper Voice. Taking out the Oddish. Um, I didn't want to go for Fire Blast again in case it missed or something like that. Now, we have the Dugong coming out. Now, this is funny. We both actually had a Dugong. Um, a Dugong's a really cool Pokemon. And you don't very, you don't often get to see two Dugong uh, in one battle. So it's going to be a physical set. It's going to use Fake Out against me, not doing too much. And uh, now we got the Waterfall. So I knew I'd probably live this one. And I just lived it on four health and a crit. And I don't get flinched or anything. I'm able to get a Hyper Voice off against the Dugong. Dugong's got nice base special defense. So I don't really do... You know, lots of damage short. I think it could have an assault. I got a feeling it could actually have an assault vest too. So it's gonna uh, take me out with the ice shard. That's all good. Wigglytuff did a fine job. I like Wigglytuff. So now bringing in Wormer down. The best I can really do is go for the signal beam to get some damage off. Um, I've also got my own Dugong to bring in too if needed. All right, so Dugong's actually going to swap out interestingly. Um, I thought they may go for an ice type move, but they don't. And uh, now we got the victory rail. So this problem Pokemon, like this is a different problem Pokemon. So go for the energy ball on the swap. Not going to really do too much to victory bell it's going to resist that right so i know some kind of poison type move is on the way but i thought no nah, i'm going to stay in and go for signal brain right just get some damage again it gets this thing and uh see what it's going to do i actually get a good damage with the signal beam i get a confusion with it however the victory bell is going to be able to eat a berry and that's going to get uh, you know lots of its health back Okay, so it's got the eye apple berry, and it's got, obviously, it's got gluttony. Right, uh, so it's going to get confused. However, it's going to go for the uh, knockoff and get through that confusion, knocking off my focus band. So there goes my hopes of actually living on one health. Now, the problem with the focus band is, that, say, if someone uses Toxic, Will-O-Wiss, anything like that, uh, it also kind of get wrecks it too. So go for another signal beam on the uh, Victory Bell, doing around half its health, which is nice. Now, Victory Bell, uh, eating that berry before, is able to use Belch, and that's going to be more than enough for me to, to take me out. So, uh, Wormadam is down. However, I do have my Dugong left. I don't want to swap in my Don Fan at the moment because it might have like a grass type move and get lots of its health back. So, I thought Dugong would be a nice uh, Pokemon to go into here. So, I went for the Avalanche, right? Victory Bell is going to go for the Sleep Powder and it lands. I'm like, oh no, this is really bad because... If it does have a grass type move, it could, you know, Giga Drain or something, it could get lots of its health back. And I may not be able to swap in Don Fan to go for the Stone Edge miss uh, later on. I'd probably need a critical hit. So anyway, uh, it's going to snap out of Confusion and go for the Belch again. Belch misses, and I'm still... Guys, I was asleep, and I missed getting burped on. How... How good is that? Right, so anyway, Victor is going to go for the Belch. This time, the Belch connects with my Dugong, uh, doing over half health. I wake up, I'm able to get an Avalanche off, and there's no way that old Victor Bell is going to be able to live that one. Taking it out. Man, I was, I was, that's a quite a good... I, li I like Avalanche, it's a good move. Um, I brought the Dugong, uh, obviously, back from a few games to get that. So now we've got the Dugong. A Dugong versus Dugong battle here, people. You won't see this one too often. So Dugong is obviously going to go for the Fake Out, doing a little bit of damage to my Dugong. Now, the other Dugong has more health than me. Uh, the best move, obviously, it has to do against me is the Waterfall. So it's not really going to do too much. I'm going to go for the Drill Run because that's the best move that I have. Hoping for a crit, right? <laughs> that Drill Run animation looks really cool. So Drill Run does like a really disappointing amount of damage. But like I said, there wasn't actually much I could really do here. So now getting hit by another Waterfall. I don't get flinched. Drill Run connects again, which is good. Hoping I can get that critical hit against the opposing Dugong. Man, this is an epic battle. So now I actually outspeed this time. So it's a, obviously it's a speed tie. Go for the Drill Run. This time I actually get a critical hit, which is nice. Now Dugong is going to go yet for another Waterfall. <laughs> 
this is the best part, right? I went for the Aqua Jet here. I was like, I might be able to get some damage before I go down. So going for the Aqua Jet, I'm going to outspeed, right? Does good damage. Then the opposing Dugong goes for an Ice Shard, right? And I lived on two health. What? Oh, so I went for that another Aqua Jet to try and take out the Dugong. And the Dugong is actually going to outspeed me this time, hitting me with the Ice Shard. And my Dugong's going to go down. Man, that battle was so hot. My, now, my last Pokemon is the Don Fan, as you guys already know. I know that it's got Ice Shard already, but I know I'm confident I can take that one easily. And uh, I just went for the Earthquake. And that's going to be enough to finish off the Dugong. And I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. There is a nice bonus battle then, people. You've got to see it. It's an amazing one. I, I, I don't get salty or anything. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for some more theme teams. And peace. Do do do